Oh, what an ugly weather today and what a weird situation in the world currently. Welcome to Raspberry on a boat. Yeah, today we want to extend our access point, means we will just enabling uh, IP4 forwarding and net. And last time we just forwarded AIS data, this time we can use it as an internet access point as well. And that just takes two minutes, believe me, it's easy. So let's go. So first thing we have to do is to edit the system control configuration file and uh, there is a line which is called IP4 forwarding. We will remove the commenting and it's set to one, so to enabled and this will uh, yeah, forward IP4 packages now. However, we need to mask uh, our IP address so we will enable net now and um, there's a command uh, to set the IT P tables uh, for post routing to NUT, but this gets lost. So we will yet now use a script which is called IP table save and save it in a file IP tables.ip4.net. And now we edit the RC local file because this file, this what we have created, must be loaded during each boot. So we will use this file here, we will use the IP tables restore command and we will specify the file we have generated a second before to load the IP tables uh, during each startup. And that's already everything we need when everything else is done, so what we did in the tutorial number two. And now our access point should work, so let's reboot. So I did uh, start my uh, tablet here and I can see our SSID. I will log in with our passcode. Now the tablet gets lost for a second because the wireless LANs mm -hmm. are switching. But the new wireless LAN should be there in a second. And let's move when it's there to Google. And I will open Google and reload the page and it's there. So um, working but maybe it's not working on your side, so let's do the troubleshooting. So first thing you should do is uh, ping on your Raspberry 8888, that's Google DNS, to see if it's there. So that should work, otherwise there's something with the internet source. Now we will check uh, the system status, the service status of host APD, to see if host APD is working and which config file has been used. We did install host APD in the second part of our tutorial row and we also installed a DNS mask and also for DNS mask we can do exactly uh, the same. Check what you can see here. Green is of course uh, always good and um, when you find any error um, try to find the root cause. And last hint you can use a PS, this is process status to get the status of host APD and DNS mask. PS is uh, the command, AX will show all processes and grab is used to get only the line of the uh, process itself. All right, I hope it's working. Thank you for uh, listening and see you in the next one.